Hello, welcome to another First Impressions video. Today I'm taking a look at Ubuntu GNOME 17.04. This is a stable release. I just don't think they've officially announced it yet or they might have done by the time this video has gone online. As you know, Canonical have decided, well Mark Shuttleworth is his name, I don't know, has decided that he's going to ditch Unity for the default uh, environment of Ubuntu and they're going to go with GNOME. Mixed feelings about that. I don't really like Unity, but then I think GNOME's a bit hungry on resources as well. So we just we'll see how we go. So this is from the GNOME team over up Ubuntu. So when they release 18.04, you know they'll probably make a few adjustments to it. So it probably won't look exactly like this, but anyway. So off the bat, go your activities top left. Anyone who's used GNOME will be used to that. Workspace switcher on the right. And then you've got your, your favourite applications there. And then all applications there. Universal search up here. So let's just type in term. Pop up terminal. And I've already installed HTOP. So we'll just open up a HTOP. Okay, and at idle we're using 785 megabytes, 77 now, out of 2 gig. This is a virtual machine. CPU utilization is at about hovering about 5%. 27, little spike there, 72. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a few things and see how much it all spikes up. So we'll start with our software center. So you'll sort of install all your programs, updates, and whatever else. Oh, and I've, had, I've enabled the dark theme, so usually this would be white as default. Okay, I'll we'll keep that there. We'll open up Firefox tab. And we'll also open up a LibreOffice tab. Right, let's let that all load up. I'm just going to wait for the spinning loader to go. Okay. Alright, so we've now shot up to 1.16 out of 2. CPU utilization is fairly low still. So if we open up another tab on our Firefox, wherever that is. So let's open a tab and we'll go to the little blog there and we'll go to YouTube on this one. Let's bring us up to 1.25. Let's see how quickly it renders these pages. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag. There we go. Well, it's taken a little while to load that up. There's YouTube coming along. Okay, it might just be my internet playing up. Never, usually a couple of seconds that'll be loaded. It's taken a very long time. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Oh, there you go, it's just loaded it. So, your workspace switcher, so I'm guessing I could just grab this, whack it there. And let's say we'll whack that there as well. And then you can pop over here. And then you have that there, and then we can pop back. Okay, we'll come back to this one, get this back over there. What this is useful for, sort of, because obviously I have an actual job, 
YouTube ain't paying me then for ain't living off the 33 cents that this has paid me. <laughs> so, I'd, you know, I'll have like a like a personal tab there and then a work tab there and I could flip between the two. So let's have a look at what applications we get out of the box. Calendar, cheese for your webcam, LibreOffice for your word pre processing and your office alternatives, settings, ribbon box, which is actually my favourite music player. It's just the one I sort of got into at first with Last FM integration. I don't think anyone even uses Last FM anymore, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing that's just the GNOME music app. Transmission for your torrents, little text editor, terminal, weather, videos. Ute. Oh, see, I haven't used GNOME in a while, so I'm not used to seeing nice little folders there. That's pretty cool. And then you get back up, uh, disks, very useful. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a good tweak tool. As you can see, I enabled the global dark theme. So let's see how it handles a nice bit of multitasking. So, sort of generally, I'll have a, a Word document open and then I'll have this open. So, let's pop that there. Okay. Doesn't do the three way split out of the box. So, you're just doing a straight split at the moment. I'll close them tabs. Okay, so up top in the middle is where your time and your notifications will come with your calendar there. Oh, you get a nice little weather update there as well, that's pretty cool. And then top right, settings, lock your computer, shut down, restart, whatever else. User, location, always have that disabled, and then your networking. And the way no mandals updates is pretty much the same as any other one to go to update and you do it there or do it in the terminal whatever you're more comfortable with so the file browser fairly standard stuff I do like the way it looks with a the dark theme though I'm gonna leave it there for now and then we'll I'll have a look a proper look at it and update you as I go. So that's GNOME, which Unity is no longer. 17.04 still ships default with Unity as far as I'm aware, but that's the last time. I'm sure someone will fork it and do whatever else with it, but okay, so let me know what you think actually. If you're happy with the changes that they're no longer doing Unity, and that goes for convergence as well, so that's the thing that annoyed me. It wasn't so much Unity, it was the fact that there's not going to be a, an alternative to the sort of monopoly of Android and iPhone in the mobile space. But this has been Ubuntu 7.04. I've been Tyler and thanks for watching.